Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing this particular error. Whenever you boot up your system, you got the error of startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. In the basic step, I suggest you to unplug any external devices attached to your system, such as your external keyboard, external mouse, any racing wheel, or any Xbox or PS controller. Make sure you unplug all the external devices including a USB drive. Once unplugged, go ahead, click on the option shutdown and then restart your PC using the power button and check if the error is still there or not. Now if it is still there, let's proceed with the second step. Click on this advanced options and choose the option troubleshoot. Now click on the option command prompt. Now in this method, we are going to disable the automatic repair screen. So type here bcd edit space slash set space recovery enabled space no and then hit the enter key. Ignore any kind of error that you have received and then close it. Now again turn off your PC and then restart it to fix out the issue. And nextly is again choose the troubleshoot option and then click on the option uninstall updates. If you have installed any latest quality or feature update, go ahead and choose the option one by one by selecting each of the options and selecting the windows and choose the option uninstall quality update and then feature update. Once you uninstall both the updates, go ahead, restart your PC and check startup repair couldn't repair your PC problem, fix out or not. Now if this method also failed, in third step, click on this option troubleshoot and again choose CMD. In every step, we have to use the command prompt because this is the only option we have in order to fix out the issue of startup repair, couldn't repair your PC. Now type here a set of commands. First one is SFC space slash scan now. One more thing friends, make sure you ignore any error that's occurred while performing these commands. Once enter the command, hit the enter key. Now once this command is completed, in next step type DISM space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key. Now if both the command fails, now type another command which is chkdsk space slash r space the letter of your drive where windows is installed. Generally the letter is changed from C to D in this particular area. So I'll type in the D and then double dot and then hit the enter key. This command will take a while so just wait patiently until the command is completed. Now once this command is completed, type exit. Now go ahead and choose the option turn off your PC and then restart it to fix out the issue of startup repair, couldn't repair your PC. Now after doing these steps, if you are still getting the issues of startup repair, in next step, again go ahead and choose troubleshoot, command prompt, and in CMD, this time we are going to repair your boot records. So first of all type here boot rack space slash rebuild bcd and then hit the enter key. Here it is showing that total identified windows installation is zero. But at your end if it is showing one or two then it will ask you to choose the option. So you need to choose the option Why? and then hit the enter key to rebuild the bcd. Now second command you need to type is boot rack space slash fix mbr and then hit the enter key. Now third command is boot rack space slash fix boot and then hit the enter key. If you are getting access is denied, type here boot sec t space slash nt60 space sys and then hit the enter key. Once it is done, now again retype the command which is boot rack space slash fix boot and then hit the enter key. Now once the operation is completed, type exit. Now go ahead Simply turn off your PC and then restart it to fix out the issue of 
startup repair couldn't repair your PC. However, if all the method fails, the last hope you have is to do a installation of Windows to save your data by creating a Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO file. For that, open up your web browser. In your web browser, this is the official Microsoft website. You need to scroll down and you will find the option of Windows 11 ISO file. Click on the option Windows 11 and hit the download button. Scroll down, choose the language and then hit the confirm button. Now click on the option 64 bit download. Save it in your system wherever you want. Once this file is saved, go ahead and create a bootable disk. If you do not know how to create one, I will share the video tutorial which will guide you how to create and install Windows 11 in your PC. Now once you created a bootable USB, go ahead and give boot to the affected PC which is giving you startup repair couldn't repair your PC. I have already created a bootable file so I'll go ahead and give boot using that bootable USB. Press any key to give boot using that bootable USB like it is showing right over here. Now click on the next button and choose the option install now. Click on the option I don't have a product key. Select the addition of windows and then click on the next button to continue. Accept the terms and conditions. Choose the option custom install. Now here is the trick. Choose the drive where you would like to install windows. Generally, it is your C drive. Select it and now instead of clicking on the option format or delete, you simply need to press the next key. Once you click on the next option, your windows will be started to install in your C drive and once it is completely installed and whatever the files present in your C drive will be easily accessible and your folder will be available in C drive with the name windows.all folder. You can easily access windows.org folder by going to C drive. In C drive, you will easily find a folder with the name windows.old. Open that particular folder and under the users folder, you will find all the files present on your desktop that were gone because of the error of startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.